Welcome to this demonstration video of the Palm Pre Unlock from NextGenService.com. Uh, first thing we're going to do is install the software. Okay, just click Next on each of the screens. Okay, so it's going to tell you where it's going to install the software and where it's going to place the shortcuts. Okay, install is now copying the files to your PC. Okay, it's now very important. It's going to ask you to install the Novacom drivers. Uh, these are part of the communication to so talk to the phone. It's very important that you do install them, otherwise uh, you will have problems unlocking your phone. So unless you install them before, you need to click Yes. Uh, the Novacom driver installer will now copy everything it needs to your PC. This can take a, a few moments depending on the, how fast your PC is. OK, uh, next we need to click Finish. Uh, it's very important, it will ask you uh, that, or tell you that you need to reboot your PC. Uh, we've installed the software before and rebooted, so we don't need to do that. So we can, uh, uh, we can skip that step, but it is very important that you do reboot your PC, or again, you will have problems unlocking the handset. Um, now here you can see the Start menu, so it's Start All Programs, Next Gen Server, Multi Unlocky Client, and uh, we're going to click on Unclient, Unlock Client, which will run the, uh, the client for us. Okay, here's the software. First thing we're going to do is check the username and password. Okay, uh, you can see them here. Um, and uh, let's open up a, a copy of a sort of email that you would get from nextgenserver.com after your purchase with your login details. Okay, so that's, that's where to find them. And they go in the relevant fields on the software. Uh, next, make sure you've selected main server under server settings and save the data. Okay, the first part of the unlock process is to actually put the Palm Pre into developer mode. So from the start screen, I'd like you to type web OS or web OS 20090. It might be quicker than this. 606. Six. Okay, and that's going to bring up the, the icon to launch the developer mode enabler. Okay, here we can see it, and you can see you have a toggle icon at the top, uh, so developer mode off, we're going to set that to on, and then we're going to restart the device from the prompt. Okay, now your Palm's going to reboot, um, now rebooting the Palm Pre does take a little bit of time, we're not going to sit here and watch all of that, so uh, let's cut to the next stage of the unlock process. Okay. Plug your Palm Pre into, into your PC and it, it will detect some new drivers. That bit is automatic, so we haven't shown it to you. Um, now click on Lock, okay, and it's asking you to install the drivers, and these are the Diag drivers it's going to install. We've replugged the USB cable into the Palm Pre, and it's going to start, and your PC is going to detect some new hardware. We should see that any second on here now. Okay, here's the first bit. In all, there's two it's going to detect, but the process is the same, so let's watch this. Um, at this stage, uh, I'd like you to select no or not at this time. It's basically Windows asking you if you can search for the software itself. We don't want it to do that. We're going to select where the drivers are. Okay, so click no, not at this time. Then click next. Uh, on this screen, we're going to select install from a list or a specific location because we're going to tell Windows where to look for the drivers for this device. Okay, click next. Okay, this is quite important. Uh, you can see here uh, we've got search for best driver in these locations. Uh, we've got include this location in the search uh, selected. Okay, and you can click browse and you need to browse to, you can see it on here. Uh, it's basically C uh, or D or wherever your program files folder is on your PC, then multi unlock client, then Palm Pre, and then drivers. Once we've selected that, we can click OK and then we're going to click next. Okay, uh, right, driver signing. Okay, unless uh, somebody's paid Microsoft to have a driver signed, you always get this warning. Okay, so on here we're just going to click continue anyway. Okay, Windows is now installing the, uh, the, driver, the software and hardware for you, the drivers for the hardware. We're going to click finish. It's then going to detect another piece of hardware. Now, this is exactly the same, it's easier this time. No, not at this time. Click next. Install from a list or specific location. Next. Okay, so remember the last location, so let's do that. Next, install the hardware, continue anyway. Okay, very quick. Okay, that's it. Um, our pre is all installed on our PC and it's ready to unlock. We're going to click OK. 
the client's going to detect the phone. We should see that any moment. There we go, Palm device connected. It's read your phone's IMEI number. It's now going to read some data from the handset. Uh, in a moment, this is going to send this to the, to the server, and then the server will send back the unlock code and display it in the client for you. Okay, it doesn't take too long, it's only a few moments. Okay. Last little bit, we should suddenly see it shoot up to 100%. There we go. Okay, now uh, we should get our codes any second. There we go. Okay, um, it's the network code which we're interested in. This is this is the one that's actually going to remove the SIM lock on our device. Okay, let's uh, let's unlock a phone. Okay, this is a, a an O2 UK locked Palm Pre. Um, we've put a three SIM card in it. We're just going to boot the the Pre up. Okay. Now, as we've said before, booting the Palm Pre does take a little time, so we're going to uh, we're going to cut to it, boot it up. Okay. Right. Any second now, uh, we should see it boot, and we should see that the the SIM card's not accepted in the in the Palm Pre. Okay. We can quite clearly see uh, that it says at the top of screen enter network unlock code. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to enter the network unlock code which was displayed in the, the software client a moment ago. Okay, as soon as we've, uh, we've finished we're just going to click done. Okay, there we go. We're going to boot up. Um, now we probably get a welcome message from 3 because this phone's never been used on 3. Uh, and then we should hopefully see the, uh, there we go, there's a welcome message. And in a second, we should see that the phone is now operating on a 3 network. Okay, 2 bar signal, not bad. Uh, pretty good for a smartphone, that's it. Get your credits at uh, nextgenserver.com.